Hey, what's up guys? Hope everybody's doing well and having a great day. In this video, I have more exceptional video footage of really cool observations made in not only the day, but nighttime sky as well. You're going to see a deep space video. A gentleman points his telescope into the nighttime sky and you're not going to believe what shows up in the field of view. We're also going to Maui mystery in the Maui daytime sky. You're going to see mysterious objects in the sky above Maui. Also have some bonus videos for you guys. Waves in the daytime sky. You're going to find really cool cool. They look like they belong in the ocean, but they're in the sky. Really cool video footage coming up here in just a second, but first over here at the homepage of the website, today's feature photo was sent in by Dan out of Gilroy, California, of a very bizarre sky. High winds probably caused this phenomenon in the sky above Gilroy. Not quite sure how else to explain that, but that was one photogenic sky above Gilroy, California. Checking in on the GOES X-ray flux over here at the Space Weather Prediction Center. All quiet the last 24 hours and here's why the earth facing side of the sun is almost blank and again that's very rare for for solar maximum quick look at the schumann resonance it too has been very quiet the last 24 hours hopping over to the yellowstone supervolcano caldera looking at the seismographs that that monitor the mighty supervolcano not too much going on still a little bit of persistent activity up here at mammoth vault and over here in the northwestern quadrant where it's always pretty busy with small earthquakes a little bit of magma intrusion today the dark blue you see around the the various seismographs represent magma intrusion but other than that pretty quiet at the super volcano caldera going to tulsa oklahoma have really cool video footage sent in by trey from november 9th of 2023 when he looked up in the daytime sky and saw these hanging out in the sky above tulsa oklahoma they look like they belong on the ocean those look like large waves you would see near an island somewhere but this is in the middle of the united states in tulsa oklahoma in broad daylight trey looked up and once again saw this incredible cloud configuration very photogenic clouds in the sky above Tulsa Oklahoma that again look like giant waves in the sky great video Trey thanks for sharing I want to take you guys now to Maui this video footage is also from November 9th of 2023 sent in by Jen L when she looked up and saw these in the daytime sky above Maui she said she watched them for a few minutes before she decided to start recording them because she was so fascinated by what she was seeing in the daytime sky she said she watched them for a minute or two before she started recording these things were moving in like a vortex motion she said they were moving through the daytime sky appeared to have their own propulsion system she makes a comment during the video that these were not balloons she could tell by the way that they were moving they weren't balloons and as you can see right here this white one is coming down towards the bigger one there goes one right there moving much faster it goes up towards the bigger one as if it's going Going up to inspect it or something like that and then flies away i mean if these things were balloons they would have been moving at the same speed in the same direction not necessarily going in all directions here you can see one moving to the left and one moving to the right some are moving faster than others some are larger than others I agree. I don't think these were balloons. These were something other than balloons. What exactly? I don't know. These were spotted in the sky above Maui just a few days ago. And you can see there were several, probably somewhere in the neighborhood of at least a dozen that were visible. And there could have been more. This one right here was acting the most mysterious. It came down and kind of got real close to this one here. That's not how a balloon behaves. Look at that thing. It's coming down, getting close to that one again. There goes a, a fast one right there above these two that appear to be semi-stationary and then that one's going by very fast you have another stationary one there and then there was another one up here near the clouds this one here was the one that was acting the the most mysterious but either way they were all mysterious some sort of mysterious objects in the daytime sky spotted by Jen L above Maui thank you Jen really appreciate that I want to take you guys now to Alaska this video footage was sent in by Jenny from November 3rd of of 2023 i put this in fast forward check out the fiery orange sky at either sunrise or or sunset visible from nome alaska thank you jenny really appreciate that now the deep space high altitude ufos spotted in a telescope you're going to see a lot of background stars here
year from the night of October 30th of 2023 at 9.58 p.m. You're going to see this one down here, a larger one moving from right to left. You're going to see this one up here moving from left to right, a little bit smaller. And then all the stationary lights you see in the background are background stars. And you're going to see much more than just these two here. You're going to see two that appear to be traveling together. You're going to see many mysterious lights way off in the distance. These could be described as, as very high altitude objects or deep space objects. This was viewed through a telescope, recorded through a telescope, some sort of mysterious lights way off in the distance. I mean, these things probably wouldn't even have been visible without the aid of a telescope. There goes one right there. They weren't blinking. They appeared to be the same color, about the same size. Here comes one here. There's another one there. You've got three right here in this field of view that he happened to notice moving through the sky at about the same speed. These two kind of veer off to the right. This one here rises up, moving at its own speed and moving in a different direction. Then you had the two down at the bottom nearly colliding. Look how close together they get right there. And then they drift apart again. He zooms back in on the larger white craft or object, whatever it may be. It could have been a craft. I have no idea. They were way too far away to see any detail. But he did notice these points of light moving in the sky that obviously weren't stars. Here's another one right here that he found. Actually, two more. These are different ones. I think that's a total of six, maybe seven now that he spotted way off in the distance with his telescope. Once again, on the night of October 30th of 2023, it's now 10 o'clock p.m. He started recording the video at 9.58 p.m. when he noticed these lights moving through the sky in his telescope. And he noticed a lot. I've seen a few of these from time Time to time and I think we've all probably seen a low earth orbit satellites and they kind of look like this you'll see them from time to time just standing on the ground looking up into the nighttime sky in fact I saw one just a couple of nights ago and I knew what it was it was a earth orbiting satellite these look different I don't know that I would call these earth orbiting satellites they're all moving at various speeds and and in different directions a couple nearly collided and you don't normally see earth orbiting satellites coming that close to one another and they're not normally occupying the same part of the sky like this in a, a fairly large cluster here comes another one right here I don't know if that's number eight number nine to be honest I've lost count and this video was just over three minutes and 30 seconds long and I think he was observing these lights much longer than he was recording these things were were very active in the sky on the night of October 30th of, of 2023 not sure which direction he was looking we saw a video here a while back in the southeastern sky also using a telescope to record these objects that were probably otherwise not visible with the naked eye standing on the ground. Great job, guys. Keep the photos and videos coming. If you guys have any photos you'd like to share, you can send those to reports at MrMBB333.com. If you guys have any videos you'd like to share that are too large to attach to the email, come over here to the homepage of the website. You can always find a link down below in the description box. Look for this red banner that says, Have a large video. It's a Dropbox. Drag and drop your video into the Dropbox. Please include your first name, date, and location, and I'll take it from there. Thanks for watching. Have a super day and be safe out there.